Okay, okay, okay. This is Heather Dye reporting live with the news you can motherfucking use. I don't want to. <laughs> the news you can motherfucking use. Yeah, you catch it in the morning. Thank you. This is my partner. My buddy. <laughs> Southside Ryan, shit. Real Southside Ryan, shit. Ryan Dye. Ryan Dye. <laughs> right. Good, good dude. Good dude. Thank you. And making major moves, making major moves. So yeah, yeah. he has opened up his gaming room as we did the walkthrough and show y'all. I'm gonna let him tell you about it. So what you really got going on? Well, basically this is Game Time Gaming. Uh, we right here located 1440 Mount Zion Road, Morrow, Georgia, 30260, Suite 8. Uh, just basically wanted to open up some for the kids, man. Some just for the youth come through gaming is big. Everybody yeah. loves Madden, Call of Duty, Fortnite for the little kids, whatever they play. But just come through and have a vibe. Yeah. I mean, I know you can play online at home, but like you said earlier, we used to go to the mall, to the tilt. Yeah. You know, to the green by get fresh and just go play the game. And so, you know, I just try to bring that feel back, but just more modernized. You know what I mean? Yeah, more so, up you know, to yeah, date yeah, so, with the know, time. Bring the PS5s and the, the new Xbox and the PlayStation 4s and, you know, the Oculus. Let the kids come through and have a good time. Right, right, right. And it is very nice. It's in a nice area, for yeah, one. Yeah. Two, very clean, like I said. Got it set up really, really, really nice. Take you know pride what I mean? in it. You take pride in something, take care of it. Right, you know I mean? right. So take pride take in a lot of shit. Nigga be fresher than a motherfucker yeah. every goddamn day. And it's in you. He a martyr. I'm just playing. I'm just yeah, playing. I'm just, whoa, shit. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh, the game chair be goddamn yeah. swerving, that my bad. That when my son was in and hitting flips and stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, how you doing? You doing good, man. Good. Yeah, That's what's up. That's what's up. All my kids doing good. That's what's up. That's what's up. And like you were saying earlier, I think that was a um really good point. Um, Because I was asking you, you know what I'm saying, you had a good career, good job, whatever you want to call it doing well but you just said you decided to step out on faith and just believe in yourself and I think a lot of times we won't do that we be scared you like the security of having a job and that's cool you know what I'm saying but sometimes you just start feeling like I'm more than this I'm bigger than this Most I know I know I'm a boss Most like man, you sitting in that motherfucking job and you get there at 5 a.m. in the morning and you working and this motherfucker come at one and say mandatory overtime man you yeah. stuck fuck what you had going for the day mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. about the guy out of that job, shit, man. Just, then I just, you know, it's only so much you can gain. You yeah. make $80,000, that's all you're going to make. I don't give a damn how much old time, all that slaving. You only going to cap out at whatever they got you capped out at. Mm -hmm. They so, tell man, you what I'm you make. Fuck that. Yeah. Believe yeah. in yourself, man. All right. this money out here. So right. I was like, man, I went to work one day. I'm going to need a lot of dress. I went to work one day. I was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> fuck this shit, bro. Fuck it. Fuck it. And right. I've been having the idea, like, I needed a little money. I'm like, damn, so I'm gonna get money from uh, this, that, and that. When I thought about it, I'm like, shit, I'm gonna take my 401k. Cause I got the money. Pay my damn self. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I've been there a few years, got a little, not a little money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Discipline, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Discipline. And stepped out with a real plan, a good plan, a business plan. Stick to it. Stuck to, to it. it. Get you a good support system. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whether it's a good girl, good family, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Good kids, just people who gonna push you and sticking up with you, shit, man. <laughs> we and here it's now. up. We here. It's up. We here. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And I mean, seriously, like, I remember when you started posting the pictures saying it was coming together and you yeah. was putting it together and stuff. And I'm like, okay, what well, we got going on? Okay, okay. And then it all just came into fruition and it all just. Came together exactly as planned. Man, and I it's want nice. you to be able to get fly, get fresh, come up here, know it's gonna be some cute little girls in here, some handsome guys in here, get your gaming on, mm -hmm. show people you're pretty good at the Mortal Kombat or the, whatever game you choose to play. But just come through with a vibe. You know, sometimes I have a lot of DJs in here. I have food trucks here. Food you know trucks, I mean? live DJs. Uh, black owned companies that cook and cater, so they'll be here. Wow. Got a dessert lady to make all kind of crazy funnel cakes. Yeah. So, yeah, man, they'll be here. So, man, I just want to say this. If you got a friend that's doing something, mm -hmm. 
help them. Yeah. That shit, man, help these Support. folks. Don't be surprised. We sitting on a million dollars, but a nigga won't help a nigga. Yeah. I fuck with you. Why wouldn't yeah. I do this? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Because you know I mean? they got that, that, that hating that mindset, and it's just like, it's no money out here for everybody. Man, I told all my partners, you know, ask them, bring your t-shirt, bring your hat. Bring mm-hmm. everything. You finna load them up on the wall. Mm-hmm. People coming in here, you know, hey, pick you up a shirt. Mm-hmm. Pick you up a hat. Mm-hmm. Shit, I'm gonna have over there, I'm gonna have a Heather Die playing on YouTube. Over and over, <laughs> and over and <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what it's about. And made me smile. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Because we got to help. Exposure. Like ants. If all the ants come together, then we can do a lot. Right. Everybody looking for the business. Everybody about yourself. Yeah. Everybody about their business. Yeah. Everybody about their business. Yeah. Everybody about their business. Yeah. And in most yeah. cultures, you know, it is more togetherness. It is more each one help one. But we together. Other, but we yeah. together. You just got to get the like minded people and roll with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like me and you. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? They want something. They yeah. got a vision. They, they really believe in themselves. Believe in that, themselves. That know they capable of doing shit. And you're right. Motivational people around you and right. seeing people progressing is important. Because if you're sitting around a bunch of negative shit or bullshit all day, where your ideas gonna come from? Where your energy gonna come from? Where your motivation gonna come from? But if you 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 surround yourself with doers, then you gonna start doing it. Okay. If Heather Dye can do it, I can do, do it. it. Right. I grew up with you. I right. seen you since you was a twelve year old little girl. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Just like you seen me. Right. So if I can do it, you believe you can do it. We all can do it. Right. It ain't nothing but a man. Walk by faith, man. Yep. Believe. Yeah. Believe. Believe in yourself. Cause you work on the work. I can always go get it. Job. Right, it's always gonna be somebody looking to tell your ass what the fuck to do. It's always a fucking job. job. Yeah. You know what I mean? So fuck that shit, man. Yeah. I ain't no job in two years. I've yeah. been around the motherfucking world. I've been to LA three, four, five times, Chicago. That freedom. Born, uh, that freedom, man. Took my little girl to get her first job. Yep, Picked right. Picked a little boy from school. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm my oldest son, grow up, do a little rap career. Right. So, you know what I mean? For real, man. For nine to five, I don't know. You know what I mean? But to me, nine to five, it kill life, man. Yeah, it do. It, it do. Life, and if you, you know, there are different careers and certain careers, and if you're passionate about what you do that, that make an extreme amount of money, and that's cool. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But if you, we just saying if you're in a place that you feel like you have outgrown or you feel like, okay, thank you, God, for bringing, you know, giving me this to help me. But now, it's, I want to level up. Now I think I can do better, now and I, I can do bigger. Not to cut y'all, I told my partner the other day. He was sitting around, I said, if this job paid me exactly what my real job paid me, I'm cool. Right, because I saying? didn't lose. No, if it paid me what my ex-job paid me, a check a week, I'm cool. Right. Because I get to do what I want to do, mm-hmm. enjoy doing what I like to do. I'm a gamer. You're right. You know right. what I mean? A lot of people leave. Get fly. Right. Chill with good people. Right. Have fun. Right. It ain't about the real rich is like. You right. That's the real rich. You right. How many people we know that did that had money? Right. We don't remember that. And couldn't see it. Or you was always working, working, working. You missed very important and pivotal parts of your child's life. Man, you know what I'm saying? Them kids growing up bad. It's hell. Right. Two days for one, man. Two days. We live two days for one. The world's been twice. Right. And then... Older people used to tell me, like, you're going to look up one day and she going to be grown. And you can't fathom that when your little baby, yeah. like, look. And then I look up, this motherfucker really, like. Going to prom. Right. You know what Ready I'm saying? Right. Want the joy and the yeezy. Right. <laughs> like, hold the fuck yeah. up. Slow down. Right. Slow down. So these kids crazy, but that's what it's about. It's about. It that's is. what we're it doing is. it for. It is. Great father, great man, great person. And definitely um, great business on them. Definitely yeah, took no pride definitely, in these. Y'all and got it through. together. And, and, and check me out, man. I think you'll enjoy yourself. I think you'll like what I got going on. Like I say, you gotta help each other. Yeah. You know, y'all come help me. The, the bigger I can be and the more, more I can offer. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? And the slightest spot get. And we just have fun. Fun. Yeah. 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 Have fun. And I can dig that. And that's news. You uh, get look, my motherfucking you. Look at my mom. I was looking at you and say the motherfucking. I'm sorry, my mom. Hey! 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 This is Heather Dye.
reporting live with the news you can motherfucking use. I came to my homeboy Moose Spot. He got a little gaming room vibe going on. It's really a vibe though. It it's really is. So he got the gaming chairs that you can see over here. He got all the flat screens up on the wall. Like it's fully equipped with everything you need. It's a it's a really big space too. Really really big space. Let me move around a little bit. We got that. He got the other TVs over here that you can also game on with more gaming chairs here. He getting ready to add the addition, which is gonna be the virtual joint. So you're gonna be able to come in here and do the virtual shit too. Very centrally located, right here by the mall. You got a nail shop, you got a couple of other businesses around, so it's real convenient to a lot of different things. The kids wanna hang out at the mall, come over here, game, keep them out the streets, keep them out of trouble. Um, the boys like the game, it's hard to find something for guys to do too. Um, so I think this was a real good idea. Like I said, there ain't no YMCA's or boys and girls clubs on the south side. So this was a really, really good look, I feel like, for the community. And then, when you come over here, he got his arcade game. The old school joints, like we used to play when we was kids, get dropped off at the arcade. Kids don't even do that no more. That shit used to be fun as hell, though. Used to have them at the mile. But now, we don't need ball, we got gaming room. Gaming room, that's what we calling it now. So, Real cool shit, real dope shit. Um, cool dude, he the homie, we grew up together, Southside shit, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna get into the podcast, we're gonna talk about it a little bit, he gonna let me know what's really going on, and just a little bit about it. Your kids' birthday parties, nigga wanna come in here, bet on the game, make you some money, um, in a nice setting, you know what I mean? Clean, very, 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 very clean, I'm being on clean, very clean, smell good in this motherfucking